Elon Musk, Stephen Hawking's urging military robot ban right now. In fact, they joined a thousand other experts, leading robot researchers. In fact, they've signed an open letter warning that military artif artificial intelligence, uh, that we've entered into something akin to an arms race. Take a look at some of this stuff. Kurt Knudsen is our cyber guy, and he joins us now. Jesse Jane Duff is back with us as well. Kurt, I'll go to you first. Uh, you know, how... How worried should we really be? Because this isn't the first time we've heard smart people talk about this, but these guys have been pounding the table and they are serious that this is going to end up ugly. They're sounding the warning bells. Charles, good to see you. We're talking about not decades, but just a few years from now. They're warning that killer robots will be unleashed, artificial intelligence, and the real concern is autonomous warfare. And what does that even mean? Where do we draw that line? And what's interesting is they're drawing the line in that it's any sort of weapon, because we're using a lot of robots as it is and drones, as you sure. know now. We're they're drawing the line if it's any weapon that does not require a human to execute that payload or make that fire or do whatever it's going to do that's deadly. That is where they're drawing the line, saying that's a huge problem, that it's going to spawn a race, an arms race, of these killer type of robots, that terrorists will start doing it because, A, the cost of entry is very low, and the materials are readily accessible. It's not like a nuclear warhead that requires a great deal of money and, at the same time, is very difficult to get all of the components to a nuclear warhead to put it together. So right. we don't have that kind of concern for terrorists, but we do have a huge concern about everyday people with very bad intentions being able to do this. And as soon as it starts, the concern of this group is that everyone else will just pile on and now all so, of a sudden artificial intelligent robots will be running the world of wars. Jesse Jane, we've seen the movie from the Terminator on down and I mean to a certain degree, you know, you can say, well, it's this fantasy stuff, but it feels like everything we've ever dreamt or imagined has eventually come true. And you were in the military, you understand what's going on. Yes. By the way, the Department of Defense is the one really driving the, uh, yes. uh, the expediency of all of this in, too, in, too many, uh, in many mm -hmm. ways, right? Yes, the Air Force is looking at having some of the artificial intelligence ready as soon as 2030. Now, I want, I want to give a counter argument to a lot of this. We had over 4,000 men and women die in Iraq, Afghanistan. We had 32, 000, over 32,000 casualties. These are people without arms, legs, traumatic brain injury. So when you look at the human toll that regular warfare is causing, you have to consider that this could eliminate a lot of that. Warfare has steadily decreased in the loss of life over the years because of technology. Technology. technology has actually made wars more expedient. It's actually made people actually have less loss of life. You look at the casualties in World War II, that was brutal, brutal. And they, there were not any robots involved in that. Although, so, although Jesse Jane, let me just say, though, we're, we're, we're in these wars. We never end them. We don't win. True. And we kind of withdraw, and the problem is still there. So, oh, yes, yeah. you're right. Whole There's not as yet. many casualties because from a public relations point of view, no, no, no administration can withstand it. But... Do you think uh, that we that the risk is worth it to, to save our men and women that we should continue with this technology that ultimately our enemies will also possess? I think as long as it's handled in a, I don't know where this could go. I think the I think the horse has already left the barn. There's technology out there, and if we're not going to use it, somebody probably it's going else to a bad will. place is where it's yes. going. Jesse, it's going exactly, to a very, very bad place because there well are no it there's no well framework around but if, this. But if the horse has already left the barn, wouldn't you want that's the, the United these States? People. Go, Wouldn't what? you want the United States to have the technological advantage over the enemy? Because right now, ISIS is killing thousands and thousands upon people, yeah. and I don't see a stopping also, guys, it in any way. way. If you don't and, and, think and, the and U.S. Gotta, military gotta, gotta has this there, going guys, on now, they do. They're you're both making this. great points, and by the way, we know ISIS is talking about using more and more drones, but you know what? If they're going to use it, we've got to stay a step ahead. Both of you guys are absolutely right, I think. Ahead. Thanks yeah. a lot.